Mayor Adams says that he is going to get Rikers Island under control. This after the U.S. attorney steps in and sounds the alarm, putting the possibility of a takeover on the table. CBS 2's Andrea Klein Thomas has more on what this could mean for the jail complex. It's a letter unlike any other. The U.S. Department of Justice has run out of patience about the conditions on Rikers Island, writing to a federal judge and for the first time introducing the possibility of seeking the appointment of a receiver that would strip the city of control of the troubled jail complex. A receivership um, doesn't entail the federal government per se coming in to run Rikers. The federal court would appoint a non-biased expert to come in. For six years, a court appointed federal monitor has detailed deteriorating conditions at the jails and offered remedies which have not been implemented. 16 detainees died last year, three so far this year. Decades of problems in Rikers. We are now have the right commissioner, the right team. Why give me an opportunity? Because the people on Rikers, they look like me. Mayor Adams is right. There's a long history of problems. The obstacles that are in Commissioner Molina and Mayor uh, Adams' way are too daunting for them to circumvent, not because they're not good at their jobs, but because they're too daunting for anybody to fix. So daunting, former Department of Correction Commissioner Vincent Chiroldi said he suggested federal receivership to former Mayor Bill de Blasio. What can a federal receiver do that you weren't able to do? So there are 1,700 people about out sick on a given day, and they have unlimited sick leave through the union contract. One thing the a receiver could do is uh, abrogate that contract. Essentially, cut the red tape to more easily hire and fire staff, set a budget, and address the ongoing violence and chaos. That freedom from the political process allows them to do things um, that the mayor, the commissioner, simply can't for political reasons. To be clear, receivership has not been formally requested, and a judge would first have to determine if other remedies had been exhausted. Meantime, Mayor Adams says he looks forward to working with the U.S. attorney. Andrea Klein Thomas, CBS 2 News. All parties will go before a judge for a conference next week.